Hey guys, my name is Tim. I'm a video producer here at Learn Liberty and I want to introduce our brand new show called Keep Asking Why, where we take your questions submitted to us via social media, give it to our scholars, and start a conversation. <laughs> Today we have Peter Jaworski taking your questions. He's a professor at Georgetown University and teaches philosophy. Hello YouTube, hello Learn Liberty community. Dubified89 says, what about if someone was stabbed by a mugger and they are bleeding to death in the street and I walk by them? If I don't stop to help them because I don't want to be bothered and I let them bleed to death and die instead, wouldn't that be an immoral move on my part? Most people think I would feel it is, right? So doesn't that mean that in some circumstances maybe positive rights are justified, um, such as that extreme example? All right, here, take this. Yeah, thanks. Your question relates to something that Peter Singer wrote about in a famous article. He asked us to imagine us walking by a puddle and there's like a baby drowning in that puddle. And it would be a piece of cake for us to save the baby, although we'd ruin like our brand new red kicks. And so Peter Singer asks us, whether or not we're obligated to save the baby. Yes, you have a moral obligation to help people when it comes at little to almost no cost to yourself. That tells us almost nothing about what the government should do. There's a gap between what you ought to do and what you can do through the power of the government. Uh, you and I are probably both going to agree that uh, you shouldn't cheat on your wife or your husband. But I think you and I are going to say, uh, see that even though we think we're morally obligated not to do so, that doesn't justify a knock on the door from a police officer, right? To establish that we can use the government in a certain way, it's not enough to demonstrate that you do have a moral obligation to help. Yes, Go out there, help all the people who are bleeding on the street. Make sure that if you see babies drowning in puddles that you save them. Look, I'll even pay for your um, shoe cleaning, but it's not enough for the government to do something about it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating. I'm really excited about this show, and I really want you to keep on asking questions in the comments below so that we can match them up with more professors. It's going to be really fun. I can't wait. Thanks for participating, and seriously, keep asking why. Oh, my God.